Okay, welcome to the virtual cross country tour. We're going to take you around what will be the cross country route that we'll be running on Thursday, the 8th of October. Obviously, we haven't got our signs and all our cones out yet, but they will be out on the Thursday. This is what will be the start. You may have noticed we've moved it back slightly from last year. That's to allow for lots of physical distancing at the start and for us to allow for even more physical distance by the time we get to the red track, which is over there. So we're going to run it. Let's go. So they'll run from their start line, which will be slightly staggered. Make sure it's even. All the way along here, and the children will be spread Day of cross country, Mr. Satya will have closed all of the roads, so there'll be no traffic across this road at all. As well as that, there'll be a marshal standing here making sure everyone gets past okay. Let's go. So, you might have already noticed we've run across three types of terrain already, and we're only at the start. So, we've done grass at the start, we've come across the concrete there of the road and now we're on the red track, which is what cross country is all about. Three types of terrain, we're going to keep mixing up as we go through, and we'll keep an eye on all the surroundings which the runners will get to experience as well. Keep coming! So runners will be asked to run on the left hand side, unless they're going to overtake, in which case they'll move to the right, and as you can see, there's plenty of distance to do so. Oh, we're coming up to one of my favourite bits. Go. As we see some more fantastic sport going on at Cape today, just a normal day. Mr. Cobus and some volleyball. All of the children during their PE lessons in the weeks building up to the cross country have had a chance to go on their route. And when the year fours, we went through this route for the first time, came through this section here, they didn't realise they were still on the school grounds. They felt like they were in the jungle, which they said they loved. So keep an eye out for squirrels. It is slippery here, but all the leaves will be cleaned for the race. We do that on the night before the race. So if any debris and things like that is moved out of the way. We're gaining on a runner. Along these lampposts and along these fences, we usually put up signs to encourage the children. But the students are busy making this wait week. We encourage them to keep going, cheering on from their house, all their house, sorry, hibiscus, etc. We have big signs along these lampposts. And although you can't be here to be poor, they will have some support on their way around. Coming up to the halfway point. Okay, as we said earlier, this road is sharp. And here, we will have a water station and a matron will be based here as well. So if anybody falls or anything like that, there will be marshals and there will be people walking the course behind them to make sure they're okay. Here will be a matron. As well as that, these tables will be laid out with pre-filled water cups. Children can come. They can sit, bins will be laid out here, put their water in the bins. There'll be no sharing of the cups, this has been explained to the children, everyone seems quite happy with that. If they want to have a little pour on themselves, that's fine as well. 
So we're back on track, literally, metaphorically. And again, some lots of KTJ that you might not see behind some of the boarding houses. Keep an eye out for the monkeys along here. We do have a monkey marshal, making sure they stay well clear on race day. to park here on race day so this one will be clear as well. I will of course encourage the children not to carry their phones with them when they run. Not ideal. entrances so the children go the right way, come off the tarmac, they'll rejoin the red track briefly. And they finish the red track section of the race, they come off the tarmac once more. All cars obviously won't be allowed on the road because they'll be shut at this point. up to 1.8k so 200 meters to go that 200 meters after we've done this downhill is up the primary hill the children have been free save some energy come on again marshals will make sure that they go the right way Past the rugby field, where years one, two, and three will be doing their cross country a bit later on in the day. And up to the primary hill, everybody's favourite. I'll go so slow because I'll pretend Miss Tori needs me to, but she doesn't. So we've spoken to the children about their technique here, keeping their heads still, chest up, arms and legs moving in straight lines. No wasted energy, breathing nice and calm. Even as the adrenaline goes as they reach the finish. Final bend of the cross country, 2020. They come over the speed bump, but they don't slow down. They come across the finish line. And I'm proud of their efforts. And the finish line will be across here. We'll have a few classes out to support them, that will be on a rotor, but there won't be much because obviously we need to maintain our physical distance. Across the side here, we'll have tents, uh, table, water, and there'll also be a matron as well. That is our cross-country route for years four, five, and